welcome to Henderson Today. I'm Harley Wisenhut. I'm Kevin Grayson. Here's your Ready News. Spring break is your me time, but after we get back from that, Ready to Serve will be coming up quickly. On the morning of Saturday, April 7th, you have the opportunity to serve members of the Arkadelphia community. If you're in an organization, odds are that they will be organizing a team, so be sure to join the correct project once that link is posted. If your organization isn't forming a team for Ready to Serve, recruit a couple of friends and organize your own team and have fun serving with them. As teachers protest for their eighth day, West Virginia legislators are scrambling to see if there's enough money to meet teachers' demands. Last week, Governor Jim Justice and union leaders agreed that teachers would receive a 5% raise. The proposal was approved by the House. However, the Senate only approved a 4% raise. West Virginia is not a collective bargaining state, so the pay raise must be passed as a law. West Virginia public school teachers earn an average salary of about $45,000, making them among the lowest paid educators in the United States. This event poses a question. Is a protest likely to happen in Arkansas? For now, a protest in the natural state is implausible. The last recorded protest in Arkansas occurred in Little Rock in 1987. It was the first teacher protest in Arkansas. Alternative breaks is helping people at the Nashville Rescue Mission with something that most of us probably don't worry about unless it's laundry day. Until March 13th, donations of new socks and underwears of all sizes are being collected in the garrison. So the next time you're at Walmart, pick up a pack of socks or underwear for alternative breaks and help someone in need. The 90th Annual Academy Awards took place Sunday at the Dolby Theater in Los Angeles. Hosted again by Jimmy Kimmel, the night didn't contain too many surprises. Jordan Peele took home his first Oscar for Best Original Screenplay for his film Get Out. Guillermo del Toro won for Best Director for The Shape of Water, which also won Best Picture. The acclaimed film Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri sent both Frances McDormand and Sam Rockwell home with gold for Best Actress and Best Supporting Actor, respectively. Gary Oldman beat out the likes of Timothy Chalamet and Daniel Day-Lewis for his portrayal of Winston Churchill in Darkest Hour for his first Oscar win. Of course, everyone didn't go home a winner. Films such as The Post, Baby Driver, and Lady Bird didn't take home a single award despite multiple nominations. Even though popular films such as Get Out and Logan were nominated for Oscars, the ratings for this year's Academy Awards were at an all-time low. So aside from some much-deserved wins, it was a rather routine year at the Oscars. Here's to looking forward to next year. Who knows, we may see something like Black Panther show up somewhere in the race. If you were on campus Friday, March 2nd, you were probably startled to hear about the fire in the campus dining hall. However, there is no need to worry. The fire occurred in a small portion of the kitchen and was quickly controlled by the kitchen staff with the help of Henderson student Ben DeWoody, as seen as this video submitted by Henderson student Carly Green. After the fire, the dining hall remained closed for the rest of the day, but promptly reopened on Saturday. It was lunchtime when the fire happened, which forced Henderson to use the garrison ballroom as an impromptu dining hall. OBU also lent a helping hand by allowing Henderson students to eat at their dining hall for free. All in all, it's great to know that our school kept us safe and that our rivals across the street turned into friends in our time of need. So you were actually there when this was yes, happening, was. right? What was that like? It was really crazy. I was like, I just want coffee. Now it's a fire. You're kicking me out. I still want my coffee. <laughs> I'm glad everybody's safe. And I know. Okay. I'm glad it worked out, too. I'm Kevin Grayson. Thanks for watching Henderson Today. And I'm Harley Wilson Hunt. Catch us on YouTube at HSU TV.